Today we have the first reveal of the new Apple iPhone 13 design and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So it was only a couple of days ago since we last covered the Apple iPhone 13 and we've now got more confirmation on the specs as well as the first reveal of the new iPhone 13 design. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Apple and let me know in the comments what device you're actually watching today's video on. So the first story of the day is about Touch ID on the Apple iPhone 13 as there seems to be a lot of confusion. We had stories coming out saying that there's no Touch ID and stories coming out saying that there will be so it's easy to see where this confusion comes from. I'm being told that there are prototypes out there with Touch ID but it's not 100% confirmed just yet. We also had Ming-Chi Kuo stating last week that the iPhone 13 is likely to come with Touch ID and he's usually right so that gives a lot more hope. While they previously removed the Touch ID, many do prefer it over Face ID and now is the perfect excuse for them to bring it back while masks are causing issues with Face ID so I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. I think it will at least be for the Pro models as it looks like it's coming in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner but hopefully it will be for the whole range. Now next up we've got more great news on specs for those of you that have been hoping for 120Hz. Of course it was something that looked very likely last time round and that never happened so many of you do have your doubts. More and more evidence is coming forward to suggest that the Pro models will have it and we can be 99% sure that it is going to happen. The elect just issued a new report that states that the Samsung A3 factory line which previously was producing LTPS OLED panels for Apple is now being converted to produce LTPO displays for Apple instead. LTPO panels allow for a variable refresh rate and it's going to allow Apple to give us a 120Hz display for for the iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max while still saving on battery life. We also had Ming-Chi Kuo back this up in a research note last week and considering most phones are at least 90Hz these days then there's just no way Apple can ignore it. Now next up we've got the first reveal of the iPhone 13 design and it looks exactly as I'd hoped for. A couple of days ago I told you that the front of the phone is changing but we weren't sure if the notch was going to be shorter in height or narrower in width. Well thanks to a Greek repair provider iRepair we've got the first images of the glass panel front and the notch seems to be the same height but quite a bit thinner. He also gives us the front glass panel for the 5.4 inch, the 6.1 inch and the 6.7 inch displays meaning this isn't just a feature for the most premium models. If this leak is accurate then it means that we've got a reduced notch for all models of the iPhone 13. Ming-Chi Kuo previously told us that there's going to be a new design for Face ID that consolidates components and reduces the overall size. Now this is of course allowing for a smaller notch and it's going to be the first time we've seen it changed since the iPhone 10 in 2017. Now of course this is still early stages and there is a chance that this leak could be fake. It looks convincing but it wouldn't be a hard one to either focus Photoshop or just make the models but we've got no way to verify. Overall though it's looking like a great design improvements to the iPhone 13 on top of already great hardware improvements so this really is going to be a phone to look forward to. Of course we've already got a lot of detail on the specs design and the pricing for the whole of the iPhone 13 series so now we're going to run through it all to help you guys decide if this is the phone for you. For my regular viewers you guys have already seen this bit so just jump to the next video but if you're new here then don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe and we'll get right into it. So to start with we've got the entry level model the Apple iPhone 13 mini. It's expected to be a 5.4 inch iPhone with an OLED Super Retina display. It's expected to have a resolution of 2340 by 1080 and this is going to give us 465 pixels per inch. It's very unlikely for high refresh rates on the lower models so expect a 60 hertz display but we should be seeing this shorter notch. With Apple continuing to prove that huge amounts of RAM are just not required, it should be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM and a choice of 64, 128 or 256 storage. We're expecting another aluminium frame to reduce the cost, although again the body should be looking similar to that of the Pros. And the iPhone 13 mini is going to come with dual cameras on the rear, consisting of a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and it will of course ship with iOS 15. 
For those that want the 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage, it's likely going to launch at a price of around $700. For 128 gig, it should be around $750, and for the 256 gig, it should be around $850. Next up, we've got the iPhone 13. The iPhone 13 is going to have a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2532 by 1170 and this gives us 460 pixels per inch. Again, we only expect this model to be having a 60Hz display and no LTPO technology, but again, it may have a smaller notch. We expect 4 gigs of RAM along with a choice of 64, 128 or 256 storage and the phone should have an aluminium frame. We're expecting a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide giving us another dual camera setup and the phone is going to ship with iOS 15. For the 64 gig model we're expecting around $800, if you want 128 gigs it should be around $850, for the 256 gig version it should be around $950. Next up, we've got the iPhone 13 Pro, and here's where things are going to change a little bit, although we are expecting a similar looking device. The iPhone 13 Pro is expected to come with a 6.1 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1170 by 2532, and this gives us 460 pixels per inch. Not only is it going to be brighter, but it's also going to be using LTPO technology and provide us with a 120Hz variable refresh rate at a full resolution. We're not expecting any increase of RAM as the A15 is going to be more than capable, so expect 6 gigs of RAM with a choice of 128, 256, 512 and maybe even a huge 1 terabytes of storage. Because this is the more premium model, we also expect another still frame and on the iPhone 13 Pro we should be getting a quad camera setup. This is going to be a 12 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel telephoto and a lidar sensor. The phone will of course ship with iOS 15 and when it comes to pricing we do expect some small price increases with this new display technology so we're estimating that 128 gigs may be around $1050, for 256 it could be around $1150, for 512 it could be $1350 and if the 1 terabyte happens then we could expect a whopping $1550. Now finally, we've got the most premium model, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is expected to come with a 6.7 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1128 by 2778 giving us 458 pixels per inch. Again, it's going to be brighter, it's also going to be using the LTPO technology and provide us with that 120Hz variable refresh rate display. We can expect 6 gigs of RAM with a choice of 128, 256, 512 and again if the leaks are true then one terabyte of storage again we're expecting another still frame on the iphone 13 pro max and another quad camera setup again this will be a 12 megapixel wide angle 12 megapixel ultra wide a 12 megapixel telephoto and the lidar sensor now the phone is of course going to ship with ios 15 and when it comes to pricing again we expect this increase so we're estimating for 128 gig it's 1150 dollars for 256 gig it could be 1250 for 512 it could be 1450 and if this one terabyte storage happens then we could see around 1650 dollars which is an incredibly huge price tag so of course, with so many leaks floating around, things won't be clear until we get closer to launch and prototypes are made and hopefully leaked. As always though, if anything surfaces, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys straight away, but I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Apple iPhone 13 and do you like the look of this new notch? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.